everyone. I'm Mary Grace V. Saison, and I will be your teacher for your lesson today. Our lesson is about renaming decimal number to fractions. Hi kids! I am Teacher Grace and I am excited to teach you a new lesson about decimal. Today, I will discuss on how to rename a decimal number to a fraction. How? Let's begin using a simple word problem. Laura went to a cake shop. She bought a strawberry cake for her daughters. She divided the cake into 10 equal parts. If the children shared 9 tenths part of the cake, what fractional part of the cake was shared by the children? In the problem, the strawberry cake bought by Laura was divided into 10 equal parts, and her daughters shared 9 tenths part of the cake. The problem is asking to find the fractional part of the cake was shared by the children. How are we going to find the fractional part of the cake was shared by the children? To find the fractional part, we will rename the decimal number to a fraction because decimals can be expressed as fractions. The given decimal number in the problem is 0 0.9. Remember, we defined decimal number in our previous lesson as a number whose whole number part and the fractional part is separated by a decimal point. There are many ways on how to rename 0 0.9 in fraction form. The first solution is by writing in words then to symbol. The decimal place value chart will help us to find the correct place values of the digits in the decimal number. Let's think. What place does the decimal end? 9 is in tens place. Therefore, read and write 0 0.9 as 9 tenths. In fraction form, 9 will be the numerator and 10 as the denominator. So we have 9 over 10. 9 over 10 is read and written as 9 tenths. Thus, 9 tenths in decimal form is equal to 9 tenths in fraction form. The second solution is by using a number line. A number line is a visual way to see how numbers relate to each other. In order to make a number line, start by drawing a straight line with arrows on both ends. On the left end, put a tick mark and label it with 0. On the right end, label it with 1. From 0 to 1, divide the segment into 10 equal parts. Take note, 1 is included. Decimals appear between whole numbers on the line. Label the marks 1 tenths, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, and 10 tenths. We write 10 tenths as 1. Finally, plot 9 tenths on the number line. Just like with decimals, fractions appear between whole numbers on the line. The number line is divided into 10 equal parts. This means the denominator is 10. Each part of this number line is 1 tenth. Label the marks 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, and 10 tenths. We write 10 tenths as 1. In the number line, you will see that the fraction form of 0 0.9 is 9 over 10. Thus, 9 tenths in decimal form is equal to 9 tenths in fraction form. 
The third solution is by using regions. Let's draw a rectangle and divide it by 10 equal parts. Shade 9 parts to represent decimal number 9 tenths. Using the model, we can also write the shaded part as a fraction. 9 out of 10 parts can be written as 9 over 10 in fraction. Thus, 9 tenths in decimal form is equal to 9 tenths in fraction form. What did you observe after I used three different solutions? Whatever strategy is being used to find the fractional form of 9 tenths, we always come up with the same answer. Therefore, the fractional part of the cake was shared by the children is 9 tenths. Let's have another example. Rename 0 0.25 to fraction. We can rename 0 0.25 through the strategy of writing in words 10 to symbol. Write the number in a decimal place value chart. The last digit in the right from the decimal point is 5. And 5 is in hundreds place. Therefore, read and write 0 0.25 as 25 hundreds. In fraction form, 25 will be the numerator and 100 as the denominator. Thus, we have 25 hundreds in fraction form. How about using regions? This time, I'm going to use regions or grids to rename 0 0.25 into a fraction. Look at the decimal point. If the last number is two places away from the decimal point to the right, it is in the hundreds place. Since 5 in 0 0.25 is in the hundreds place, we will use a region with 100 squares or a 10 by 10 grid. 0 0.25 means 25 out of 100. We have to shade 25 out of 100 parts in a 10 by 10 grid. Using the grid, it will help us to figure out the equivalent fraction of 25 hundredths. How many squares have been shaded? The answer is 25. How many squares do we have in all? The answer is 100. Therefore, the fraction form is 25 over 100. 25 over 100 is read as 25 hundredths. This time, we used only two different strategies, but still, we ended with the same answer. Look at our answer. Can we still reduce 25 hundreds into a lowest term? The answer is yes. Get the GCF of 25 and 100, and the GCF is 25. Divide both numerator and denominator of 25. And the result is 1 fourth. Therefore, the fraction form of 25 hundredths is 1 fourth. Let's have another example. Change 5 tenths to a fraction using a number line. Divide the segments into 10 equal parts. And label the marks starting from left to right as 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, and 10 tenths. We write 10 tenths as 1. On the corresponding decimal number is the equivalent fraction. Starting from left to right, write 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, and 10 tenths. We write 10 tenths as 1. Now, plot 5 tenths on the number line. Using the number line, you will see the equivalent fraction of 0 0.5 is 5 over 10. 
But look at our answer. Can we still reduce 5 tenths to a lowest term? The answer is yes. Get the GCF of 5 and 10. The GCF is 5. Divide both numerator and denominator of 5. And the result is 1 half. Therefore, the fraction form of 5 tenths is 1 half. How about renaming 0 0.03 or 3 hundredths in a fraction using regions? First, look at the decimal point. The last digit is 2 places away from the decimal point to the right, so 3 in 0 0.03 is in the hundredths place. Therefore, we will use a 10 by 10 grid or a region with 100 squares. Then, shade 3 out of 100 squares. Using the region, we can also write the shaded part as a fraction. 3 out of 100 parts can be written as 3 over 100 and read as 3 hundredths. Therefore, 3 hundredths in decimal form is equal to 3 hundredths in fraction form. There are different ways on how to rename a decimal number to a fraction, such as writing in words tend to symbol through a number line or by representing the parts in regions or grids. Whatever strategy is being used to find the fractional form of the given decimal number, you will get the same answer. And before we end this lesson, let us always remember the following. Remember To rename decimal numbers to fractions, write the decimal as a fraction with 10 or 100 as the denominator. Then, reduce to lowest term if possible. And that ends our lesson for today. Do you understand it very well? If not, you may go back to the lesson presented in your module or you may play again this video. If today's lesson is very clear to you, congratulations! You may now answer the exercises in your module. Good luck!